You know, one thing is for certain with a Dennis Allen-led football team, they will find ways to lose. Two weeks in a row now, two pathetic losses, two games the Saints should not have lost. You're telling me that this Atlanta Falcons team scored 26 points, won the game on a walk-off field goal, 26 points on the scoreboard, and they did not score a single offensive touchdown. They did not score a single offensive touchdown, and they had 26 points on the scoreboard. Mickey Loomis, this is the guy that you refer to as could that could be the next Bill Walsh or Bill Belichick. Are you kidding me? This, these last, I hope you guys enjoyed the first two weeks because that's not happening again. These last two weeks, back back to who he is. Back to who this team is, and that's being led by an, a, a loser in Dennis Allen. I mean, <sighs> Paulson Adebo, man, like, Complete liability this game. I know he had an interception. That was huge. Other than that, he was getting, he was barbecue chicken. And the defense, like, yeah, you don't give up a touchdown the whole game, but what does that matter if when it matters most, you forget to, how to play football? Last week, you run into each other and they go down the field and score. This week, Paulson to Debo, you give up a pass interference that puts them in field goal range. Like, it doesn't matter how good you play all game. If you're just, when it, the most important time of the game comes, you just forget what you're doing. I, like, and, like, that game, that just blew my mind. That was probably the most, I mean, I have not let the Saints get me that upset in a long time. But that was just horrific. The offense, okay, first of all, what, third and goal, and we run the ball on third down to get into a fourth down, and then we don't get it. Luckily, the defense got to stop then, and we got the ball back, and the offense goes down and scores a touchdown to take the lead. Okay, we ha we finally get a clutch moment from the offense. They go down, score, take the lead, and then the defense does that, gives up a pass interference. The, the guy who, the defensive genius, Dennis Allen, okay, two weeks in a row now, when it mattered most, your defense just... I mean, and, and the penalties, like, can we talk about when the Saints got the ball back before their, their touchdown at the end there? Two penalties in a row ended up being first and 20. Badly coached team. I mean, uh, there's just, like, I have so many things wrote down. Like, what do we, like, the tackling this game was horrendous all around on defense. The front four, the, the Saints will not win any mean, meaningful games if this front four continues to get absolutely no pressure on the quarterback. Like, where's Chase Young? Where's Carl Granderson today? Where are these guys? Where's Brian Brissee? First-round picks all across the board. Brissee, Young. I mean, like, where are these guys at? It Like, the, Kirk Cousins had literally all day in the pocket, just like Hurts last week had all day in the pocket. I mean, you go into halftime of this game, 17 points they have. Again, they have no touchdowns. And, like, to start the game off, Rashid Sheed, why are we even catching? Like, why are we even attempting to field that kick? If you catch it, you're not. It's not going to go anywhere anyway, and you're going to have horrible field position. Why are we even attempting to catch that and just giving them a free touchdown to start things off? Like, and I mean, the, I'm not the run defense for the Saints. I think the, over the last two weeks, they're giving up like seven yards a carry. That is by far the worst in the league. I mean, like, and then next week, I believe, what do we play? The Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, I'm sure it'll get much better next week, right? Against those guys. Like, come on, man. These last two weeks are just horrific. I cannot overstate this enough, guys. Horrific, horrific losses. We see with the Buccaneers today what they did to the Eagles. Blew them out of the water. A Buccaneers team who got blew out by the Denver Broncos last week just blew the Eagles out. Eagles beat us. Falcons beat us. Just, just horrific, bad. It's just you can't, you can only mask things for so long. You can hire the most fancy you know, young, up-to-date, modern offensive coordinator, all the coaches, but it doesn't matter when your head man is a habitual loser because you will always fall back down to reality. You will always find ways to lose football games. Just a pathetic performance.